Joint Munitions and Lethality Life Cycle Management Command. LCMCs were established to integrate functions, life cycle functions that were previously stovepipe. The power of the LCMC is in the fact that we take science and technology from our Armament Research Development Engineering Center, an RDECOM organization. The PEO then takes the technology and the science that's developed out of the RDEC, develops it into feasible, usable warfighter systems, takes that into production, and then the Joint Munitions Command manages the production facilities and also provide support, life cycle support and sustainment and logistics for those systems when they get to the field and after being fielded. That's the power that the LCMC brings to the table that didn't really exist prior to the establishment of the LCMC. PEO Ammo is the program executive office for ammunition and its primary function is to be the Army's life cycle manager for ammunition. It does that with its assigned PMs and through collaboration with the Armament Research Development and Engineering Center located in Picatinny Arsenal and also the Joint Munitions Command out at Rock Island. Another piece of the PEO ammunition mission is uh, we buy ammunition for all of the DOD services, the Navy, the Air Force, Marines, for PEO ammunition is the life cycle manager. Life cycle management touches everything from early tech base, which is primarily the Armament Research Development Engineering Center's role, through systems development to getting technology mature enough to produce. And then once the items are produced, it then goes into a sustainment and logistics mode, which is primarily the Joint Munitions Command's responsibility. And then the end of the life cycle is demilitarization. The PEO for ammunition has oversight over that whole life cycle. As program managers, we're responsible for the entire life cycle of, of the ammunition and the pro programs that we manage. We have the development phase, and we have the production phase, and then we deal with the life cycle folks as well. So Excalibur, as an example, is one of the cutting edge technologies that we're bringing to the troops. It guides itself from GPS satellites. You can aim at a building and guarantee that you will hit that building. So that brings together kind of all the different pieces of the LCMC. RDEC is basically the principal research developer and sustainer of armament systems and munition systems. We are considered the center of lethality for the U.S. Army and we support the joint services. Here at the Armament Technology Facility, we have a live fire range, a series of live fire ranges uh, that are utilized to generate data to improve current designs and also to develop new armament systems for the military. The Joint Munitions Command um, is really considered the log part of the JMNL Life Cycle Management Command. And what that primarily involves is the logistics pieces, receiving and issuing out ammunition from our depots, doing the storage and inventory at those locations, and maintenance and demo execution. We also provide acquisition support to the program managers and logistics responsibility to them also. And when we talk about the joint in joint munitions, we include the support that we provide to all the services for their conventional ammunition items. We are covering ammunition from small cal ammunition up to 5,000 pound Air Force bombs. So it's a wide, wide range of commodities that we support as part of the joint part of the JMC.
Lars are a logistics assistance representatives uh, assigned to AMC and every one of the AMC uh, subcommands or major commands like CECOM, TACOM, AMCOM, and JMC have logistics assistance reps embedded with the soldiers to provide uh, logistics uh, support to them both in uh, CONUS or in garrison and then also in the field. You know, for the soldier in the field, if they know they have someone that they can turn to, that they trust, interact with them, right beside them, they really develop a, a trust and a bond and they know they, ha they have someone they can go to, they can get answers, they can get help, and they know they're not out there by themselves. They don't have to figure it out all by themselves. So I, I think to me lethality is defined as the tools that we give the warfighter that lets them go out and do the job that they need to do. Here at Close Combat Systems, we have shoulder launch munitions, which kind of enable the soldier to project out to a distance. For in close, we provide the soldiers with grenades. If you go over into the other program management offices, you go to PM Maneuver Ammunition Systems, all kinds of direct fire bullets, combat ammunition systems, indirect fire ammo. So, so lethality really is the ability of the soldier to project force. It's the ability of our, our warfighters to inflict damage on an enemy. Uh, and that's simply part of what we have to do every day to accomplish our mission. Uh, while I was deployed uh, in the Kunar province of Afghanistan, uh, ammunition, obviously in the combat zone, is a necessity and that was one thing I never had to worry about was the uh, ammunition being there, being in place, and uh, being on time. There's no doubt in my mind when I'm standing behind a machine gun that the, the rounds that I have in the, in the feed tray are going to work. No doubt at all. We are in a very joint environment now. It's no longer my bailiwick, you know. It's not just my little piece. We're purple when we get into particularly ammo. Ammo is the one piece that is very purple, it's very joint. As far as supply goes for ammo, we had it. I mean, the supply guy would do their, would do their request. We, like I said, when we first moved, come into Iraq, requesting ammo at a, at a pen drop wasn't too bad. We, it was there when we needed it. I was a supply star when I deployed, so I was the one that actually ordered the ammo. If I would request it, we never had a problem getting ammo, and when we got in the theater, we had more than enough, and we were well supplied. It makes you feel confident because, I mean, you're only as good as your equipment is what they say. I mean, yeah, you have to be trained on it and we have to train them on it. But if you get out there, you can be the most trained in the world. And if it doesn't work and it doesn't function, then uh, it's not going to go the way you need it to. We fire um, all types of ammunition, high explosive, smoke, white phosphorus, um, illumination. If we don't have the ammunition, our job comes to a halt. All the way from fuses to primers to propellant to munitions, um, I'm very confident that we are able to perform our job because the ammunition system works the way it does. Joint Munitions and Lethality Life Cycle Management Command. Ammunition life cycle from beginning to end. <laughs>